In today's video, I am going to be breaking down different basketball drills that can help you teach a motion basketball offense. Let's get down and let's check these out. So this first drill, I actually run with my teams because we run a five out freelance offense. So what we are going to start with in this drill is to have player one pass over to player three and then he's going to go and set a screen for player four and player four is going to then pop for that shot when player three passes him that ball. Now, it's not going to be just a simple pass. I want player three to follow his pass and when he does so, he's going to try and block that shot. I really want to see that quick pass and that quick shot and I want to see that defense. Once you're finished with this line, you're going to be going in the back of that line. Once you're finished with this line, you're going to be going in the back of this line. And once you're finished in this line, which is the shooting line, you're going to be going in the back of that line after you get your rebound. This is very important. Now, to stack this drill, we can actually have a coach right here. And I really, really like this because now we can actually teach our players to set that pass and to set that screen. Especially with younger players or maybe less experienced players, they will screen way up here and expect the player who they're screening for to go underneath the screen. And as we all know, that does not work very well because the defender would be obviously between them and the net. So they need to set that screen on that, on that coach that player is then going to pop for that shot and again player three is going to be playing that defense now i like to stack this drill again even more and how i like to stack this drill is to make this player read what his defender aka the coach what that coach is doing so now player three is not going to be playing defense what we're going to be having is player one pass over to player three and player one setting that screen still on the coach now this is the tricky part if that coach is chasing that player over top of that screen so let's say player four is using that screen and the coach is chasing over we need to teach this player if your defender is going over top of the screen you need to cut in quickly this is extremely important as soon as you see that that coach is going to be going over top of the screen you need to then cut in that is going to allow you to trap that player that defender behind you get that pass and go in for the layup or the dunk depending on what your team is able to do now on the senior team that i coach we have about five players who can legitimately almost dunk and one who can consistently dunk with those players when we are going over top of that screen i am telling those players in the drill in practice to go up for the dunk because now even though they are in practice they're getting worn down with just basketball operations they are also still needing to train those leg muscles and the best way to do so is to actually just go up and try to dunk and what we are trying to do is to get those five players who can almost consistently dunk to consistently dunk by the end of the season now if for example that player sets that screen and the coach goes underneath that screen player four needs to pop for the shot because what's going to happen is by essentially going underneath that screen as a defender you have now created a much larger space so that when player four gets that ball that's now an open shot because the coach went underneath the screen so this is now teaching the players not just the off ball movement of passing and then screening away. This is also now teaching those players to read the defender so that if that defender goes underneath that screen, you need to now pop for that shot. Another very good play, again, still with three lines, and obviously once we're finished, let's say 20 makes on one side, we would then switch over to this side. But either way, we can now start with the ball up top, and then we can cut down, we can ask for that ball, we can then say, well, as a coach, we can say to them, you're not open, and then 
we can have them screen out for player three who can then cut towards the basket. Again, very similar to a five out pass and cut, where now we're teaching that player, hey, after you cut, don't just don't just stand there and do nothing. What you need to do is to screen for somebody. And even then, we can even teach our players, again, to stack the drill. We can have a coach here, and we can have that player set a screen for the coach at first, and player three can then cut towards the basket and hit that shot. Now, we can even take this one step further. Player one passes, cuts towards the basket, and then when player one sets that screen on the coach, if the coach goes underneath that screen, instead of going and attacking the rim, player three should instead go and pop for that shot right here for the three. Because now he's created so much distance that he just has an absolutely wide open shot. Meanwhile, when player one sets that screen instead, and the coach tries to go over top of the screen, that's when we would want to see player three attack the rim and go for that layup or again that dunk. Now another fantastic drill too is let's say we're you doing a drive and kick style motion, something like a five out drive and kick or a four out drive and kick. We can have player one drive to collapse the defense that would be normally in the game jump stop land on both feet at the same exact time kick that ball out contest that shot have this player take a shot fake and then kick over to player four for the three now when he makes that pass we want player three to follow his pass so that he can contest and possibly block that shot now if player three is just super quick player four needs to be able to think quickly and say okay I can't get that shot off player three is way too darn quick I can take that shot fake and then I can take that one dribble towards the same direction as to where that defender was coming from because his momentum is coming that way and then we can take that three obviously this line will end up over here this line will end up over here and this line would then obviously end up up top now if you're looking for a fantastic offense make sure to go check out my five out complete guide down in the description below and i'll see you guys again next time